What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing you a little Black Desert Online news update. And you read the title already, so you know why we're here, so let's just jump into it. Uh, basically, two things have happened here. They sort of soft announced the official release for the Central Marketplace for NA and EU, since we haven't received it yet. Um, we were thinking maybe this uh, week for updates, maybe not. Uh, they came out with this little note here, which was it, it, no, it notes it, but like on the side. The reason for what they're talking about, we'll get into in a second. But February 20th was the is the scheduled release date for the Central Marketplace for NA and EU. So we have that coming. What their announcement overall was about that they were coming to, and I kind of love it because there's just like, there's only two opinions on it and they're so polarizing, but it's, it's also hilarious because there really should only be one. Uh, but along with the mechanical improvements that the central market will bring, you will receive, uh, you will experience a vastly different economy that delivers much more flexibility, which has long been requested by adventurers of Black Desert Online. In order to reflect the dramatic value fluctuations of various items, the marketplace value of Pearl Shop items will also be increased by approximately double. I, and here's my favorite part: this last sentence they threw in there. They already know. Like, I mean, I know too. Just reading it exactly, the backlash, even in the comment section of this video, you're gonna have people back and forth. Uh, like 110 uh, percent with with what it is, and you're not understanding what's happening properly. But uh, we understand that the news of, that news of this nature often draws controversy. But we ask you to reserve your judgment until you've had a chance to experience the system and the new economy firsthand. So why do they say that? Probably because you're going to have a ton of people, and maybe you're one of them, with a knee-jerk reaction that says, like, oh my god, more pay to win. Here we go. Make it even easier to get silver by buying items off the Pearl Marketplace. Costumes used to sell for, what, 100 mil on the expensive ones, and now you can sell a costume package for 200 mil. BDO, just getting more money. Pay to win, pay to win. Yeah, that's not what's happening here. They have other, uh, uh, plenty of other things they're doing to, to get at more money. This ain't it. And here's why. So we already know from other markets, um, other servers, I should say, that the marketplace is going to have massive, massive uh, inflation when it gets released. So items that are currently being sold, like for instance, an ogre ring is 95 mil, right? So if you went and pay to win up a costume, decide to sell it, whatever on the marketplace, and I don't know exactly what they're at. I know they're like the packages are around 100 mil, but for argument's sake, let's just say 100 mil, right? It might be 111 or something, but whatever. So you can spend your $24, is it for a costume, 2,400 pearls, Get sell it on the marketplace, get 100 mil. You can take that 100 mil and try and snipe yourself an ogre ring, which sells at 95 million, right? Like a ogre ring can be purchased for 95 mil. You can buy them with that 20 whatever dollars you bought the costume for and sold it. With the new marketplace, if they did not increase that, we already know from other markets, ogre rings are going to be at like 180, 190 mil. I've even seen some people that, and you guys can correct me in the comments here if it's different in your region. Somebody was telling me in the last stream that there was 250 mil on ogre rings even. So you can see how the the inflation of, the, of what the item's value is, that's going to decrease the overall value of silver and actually trash loot too. Um, by effect, but different story for a different time. So what's happening here is you used to be able to buy one costume with pearls and you could purchase an ogre ring for it. If they did not increase what the value of the items was on the marketplace after the inflation hits, then you would be, have to buy two costumes to get the same item in game. So all they're really doing is adjusting it for that inflation. And that's also probably why they say approximately double because I'm sure they need to see where the market kind of settles because each each region is going to be a little different than the others. If they are 250 mil on SEA, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be that way um, on the NA servers and you know any other way. If they're 185 mil, maybe it's more or less on ours, and I'm sure they'll kind of check that out as it goes ahead. It'll probably initially be 200, I mean, uh, double the amount and see what happens afterwards. But yeah, so big news here for me is that we got confirmation when we're getting the central marketplace finally it's coming february 20th as far as the costume thing i mean i keep saying costumes that's the example we use but as far as the items being increased double from the pearl shop i mean you just you have to do that you either have to do that or you make them cost half the amount of pearls either way either way which probably people wanted that version but I, they don't have an actual financial reason to do that you just have to do it because silver isn't worth what it used to be after the new marketplace has and we know this just from every other market uh, region that's had the uh, the new marketplace come in so a uh, couple of things I just I the comments were exactly what I anticipated and it took a little while till somebody like caught on it was just like source please pay to win here we come again 
Quite sure no one asked for this. Stop with these lame tactics. Put that in the news section. Oh, actually, this is. I agree with this. <laughs> you find these articles because they post them on Twitter and they don't put it on the BDO main page. I literally went to pull it up to record this video and I had to open their Twitter to get the link to the page. They do not put this on the homepage, which is just silly. It goes to their forums and then they post it on Twitter and that's it. Um, so I agree with this guy here. Stop doing this. Uh, and then finally we get, well, they're still complaining. Finally, it takes till... Here we go. First person finally gets it. Basically, everything's going to be more expensive, so there'll be no differences. The value of pearl items are going to be increased too. You get more silver by selling items, so you pay more for buying them. Yeah, exactly. They get it, and then it kind of goes on from there. People sort of get it. So, yeah, that's that. It's not really a debate. It's like totally true. There's tons of other things they got going on for pay to win features. This is not increasing their pay to win. This is just adjusting the pearl item silver cost for the inflation that is assuredly coming so yeah that's it for this news update video as far as things going on this week in the channel um i only got one stream in this past weekend so once this video gets posted uh because i can't upload it and stream at the same time i'm gonna go ahead and stream tonight so we'll jump back into some enhancing uh and see if we can go for pen dandy um i've also been buying up a lot of tungrad earrings before this marketplace change happens so this weekend coming up we'll probably go for uh tet tungrad uh, earring Hopefully that works out. Um, the new grinding video was supposed to be Pilaku, and I have once again audibled it to the new Basilisk Den, just because with that update we got higher mob density. I'm just barely into it, only a few hours so far. For my first impressions, it was not the type of mob density I was looking for, and the Bazi mobs are still a little bit tanky, so it's not completely ideal, but uh, the money's not, it's not awful. I mean, I've definitely, I've definitely done some guides on some places that are worse, so we'll see how it pans out as I get further in. I'm only a few hours in so far, but that's going to be the next one. That'll be out by the end of this week, I hope, because I have many hours to grind left still uh, between them. But yeah, that's what's going on. So yeah, that's it for this video. Be sure to like it. Uh, tell your friends about it. If they need to come check it out, let them know to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so that way you get updates of every video we post. I will have one out every single day this week, and hopefully the Bazzi Den guide out by Friday, if not, then Saturday if you can't do that. And we'll be back on the regular live streaming schedule uh, after today. Saturdays around 7 p.m. Eastern till question mark because who knows how late we're staying up <laughs> and then Sundays uh, around 1 p.m. Eastern till after Garmoth or something like that. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Everybody, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.